Which outfit should I wear for the party tonight? I want to make a good impression. Can't go wrong with a little black dress. That's true. It's hard to argue against it. Welcome to today's English lesson on Mastering Common Expressions Part 5. As in the other four previous lessons, we will explore various phrases and words that are frequently used in everyday conversations. By using real-life situations and examples, we will help you understand the meaning and usage of each expression. I will say each phrase and example sentence twice. After I say each one you say it, please. Make sure you say them out loud if your surroundings permit. Stay to the end for a listening test to check your understanding. So, let's jump in. Twenty-two. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Meaning, a phrase used to express confidence that a particular choice or decision will be successful. Examples. A. You can't go wrong with choosing pizza for dinner. Everyone loves it. You can't go wrong with choosing pizza for dinner. Everyone loves it. B. If you're unsure which book to read, you can't go wrong with a classic like To Kill a Mockingbird. If you're unsure which book to read, you can't go wrong with a classic like To Kill a Mockingbird. C. When in doubt about what gift to buy, flowers can't go wrong. When in doubt about what gift to buy, flowers can't go wrong. Twenty-three. Wear off. Wear off. Meaning, to diminish or fade away gradually over time. Examples. A. The effect of the painkiller started to wear off after a few hours. The effect of the painkiller started to wear off after a few hours. B. The excitement of winning the game wore off quickly when they realized their star player was injured. The excitement of winning the game wore off quickly when they realized their star player was injured. 3. The novelty of having a new smartphone wore off after a week, and it became just another device. The novelty of having a new smartphone wore off after a week, and it became just another device. 24. Gun to your head. Gun to your head. Meaning, a phrase to emphasize a difficult or life-threatening situation. Examples. A. If you had a gun to your head, would you choose love or money? If you had a gun to your head, would you choose love or money? B. In a hypothetical scenario with a gun to your head, would you betray your best friend? In a hypothetical scenario with a gun to your head, would you betray your best friend? 3. The pressure was so intense, it felt like having a gun to my head during the final exam. The pressure was so intense, it felt like having a gun to my head during the final exam. 25. Extent. Extent. Meaning, 
the degree or scope to which something is true or applicable. Examples A. To what extent do you agree with the statement that technology has improved our lives? To what extent do you agree with the statement that technology has improved our lives? B. The success of the project depends on the extent to which we can secure funding. The success of the project depends on the extent to which we can secure funding. C. She pushed herself to the extent of her abilities to achieve her goals. She pushed herself to the extent of her abilities to achieve her goals. Twenty six. Stand for. Stand for. Meaning. To represent or symbolize, to support or advocate for something. Examples A. The dove is often seen as a symbol of peace and stands for harmony. The dove is often seen as a symbol of peace and stands for harmony. B. I won't stand for bullying. I will always defend those who are being mistreated. I won't stand for bullying. I will always defend those who are being mistreated. C. The organization stands for equal rights and fights against discrimination. The organization stands for equal rights and fights against discrimination. Twenty seven. Stand up for someone. Stand up for someone. Meaning, to support or defend someone in the face of criticism, injustice, or adversity. Examples A. She always stands up for her younger sister when others try to bully her. She always stands up for her younger sister when others try to bully her. B. It's important to stand up for what you believe in, even if it means facing opposition. It's important to stand up for what you believe in, even if it means facing opposition. C. He stood up for his colleague when their boss unfairly criticized their work. He stood up for his colleague when their boss unfairly criticized their work. Twenty eight. Talk a big game. Talk a big game. Meaning, to boast or brag about one's abilities or achievements without backing it up with action. Examples A. He talks a big game about his skills, but he never actually delivers. He talks a big game about his skills but he never actually delivers. B. Don't be fooled by her claims, she talks a big game but rarely follows through. Don't be fooled by her claims, she talks a big game but rarely follows through. C. The politician talked a big game during the campaign but failed to fulfill their promises. The politician talked a big game during the campaign but failed to fulfill their promises.
Listening test, listen carefully. I'm really struggling to decide which outfit to wear for the party tonight. I want to make a good impression. I guess it's the little black dress. Can't go wrong with the little black dress. The little black dress is a classic choice that never seems to wear off in terms of style. It's always a safe bet. Exactly. And if someone were to put a gun to your head and force you to choose an outfit, what would you pick? Well, in that extreme situation, I would definitely go with the little black dress. It works for any occasion. While you are getting ready, could you help me understand a few phrases? My English still isn't perfect. What does stand for mean? I have heard people using that phrase a lot lately. Stand for means to represent or symbolize something. For example, the little black dress can stand for elegance and sophistication. Ah, I see. So, when someone says they are standing up for someone, what does that mean? When someone stands up for someone else, it means they are defending or supporting that person, especially in a difficult situation or when they are being treated unfairly. Got it. So, when someone talks a big game, what does that mean? Talking a big game means boasting or bragging about one's abilities or achievements without actually delivering on those promises or claims. Quiz. I'll read the questions twice and the answers once. Good luck. 1. What can't she go wrong with? What can't she go wrong with? A. A dress. B. A little black dress. C. A black dress. D. Taking risks. 2. What did she say never wears off? What did she say never wears off? A. The choice of a little black dress. B. The choice to become fashionable. C. The choice to wear a dress. D. The choice to change one's outfit. 3. If someone were to put a gun to your head and force you to choose, what does it imply? If someone were to put a gun to your head and force you to choose, what does it imply? A. A life-threatening situation. B. A difficult decision. C. A fashion emergency. D. A violent confrontation. 4. What does stand for mean? What does stand for mean? A. To physically stand up. B. To represent or symbolize something. C. To support someone physically. D. To take a stand against something. 5. What is the meaning of stand up for someone? What is the meaning of stand up for someone? A. To physically stand up for someone. B. To defend or support someone in a difficult situation. C. To criticize someone openly. D. To confront someone aggressively. 6. What does it mean to talk a big game? What does it mean to talk a big game? A. To have a conversation about sports. B. To exaggerate one's abilities or achievements without delivering on them. C. 
to discuss important issues. D. To engage in small talk. Answers 1. What can't she go wrong with? Answer. B. A little black dress. 2. What did she say never wears off? Answer. A. The choice of a little black dress. 3. If someone were to put a gun to your head and force you to choose, what does it imply? Answer. B. A difficult decision. 4. What does stand for mean? Answer. B. To represent or symbolize something. 5. What is the meaning of stand up for someone? Answer. B. To defend or support someone in a difficult situation. 6. What does it mean to talk a big game? Answer. B. To exaggerate one's abilities or achievements without delivering on them. I'm really struggling to decide which outfit to wear for the party tonight. I want to make a good impression. I guess it's the little black dress. Can't go wrong with the little black dress. The little black dress is a classic choice that never seems to wear off in terms of style. It's always a safe bet. Exactly. And if someone were to put a gun to your head and force you to choose an outfit, what would you pick? Well, in that extreme situation, I would definitely go with the little black dress. It works for any occasion. While you are getting ready, could you help me understand a few phrases? My English still isn't perfect. What does stand for mean? I have heard people using that phrase a lot lately. Stand for means to represent or symbolize something. For example, the little black dress can stand for elegance and sophistication. Ah, I see. So, when someone says they are standing up for someone, what does that mean? When someone stands up for someone else, it means they are defending or supporting that person, especially in a difficult situation or when they are being treated unfairly. Got it. So, when someone talks a big game, what does that mean? Talking a big game means boasting or bragging about one's abilities or achievements without actually delivering on those promises or claims. You've learned 28 popular phrases this week and their meanings, along with example sentences to help you understand their usage. Remember to practice using these phrases in your conversations to reinforce your learning. Soon you'll be using these phrases like a native English speaker. See you in the next lesson for more phrases. Have a great day.